Okay, today I'm going to do a short little video on how to install a Tsunami digital sound decoder in an Atherin Genesis uh, SD70M. Now, I've never done this before, so uh, I'll be learning as I go, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, but first I want to show you what I got and let you know where I got it from. I ordered a couple of these. Uh, these are the GN1000 digital sound decoders, which are the ones appropriate for this locomotive. Got a couple of them from DCCinstallsandsales.com. So I have uh, one already out of the package, one still in the package. I bought a couple of these uh, speakers with enclosures already. They were, well, they're marked at 12 bucks. I think they were actually a little cheaper than that on the website. So I got a couple of those as well. Yeah. So again, they are dccinstallsandsales.com, and they're in Georgia. There's their card, and it's DCC Installs with an S, and sales.com. So first thing I'm going to do is take the shell off this locomotive here, and in order to do that, you just go to the screw here that holds the coupler box on, on each end. Loosen that up. See, I got some bubble wrap down here. You should have some bubble wrap or foam or something to keep you from messing up your engine. Pull this screw out. Come on, guy. There we go. And the little top plate came off with it. That's all right. Pull this one. And the little top plate. coupler and the actual coupler box needs to come out and once you've got the coupler boxes out flip it back over and the body should just lift right off it's the only thing holding it in okay so as you can see here I have the stock Atherin Genesis board and I have a Digitrax DCC controller. This is a DCC without sound, so that's why I'm doing this modification here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is, this is the way it goes in. I'm going to pull these little wire retainer here off of each one of these, move the wires over to this controller, and then I'm going to go ahead and set it on my layout and just test it and just make sure everything's working perfectly. And if it is working perfectly, then I'm going to probably solder all of these connections just because I, I like to have everything soldered. And then once that's done, then I'll work on installing the speaker and figuring out where it's going to go. Well, I know where it's going to go. It's going to go up here around the, uh, just underneath these fans. But what I'm not sure of is whether or not I'm going to need to mill away some of this material or not. Just like they've done in the front here to allow for the cab, I may have to remove some of this material to make room for the speaker. Um, I kind of hope not. It would just be really nice if I could slide it in there, close it up, and go. But if I have to remove some of that, I will. It's not a problem. So what I'm going to do right now is just pause the recording while I transfer all of these wires because it's just going to be a little boring several minutes. We'll just cut that out and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, I'm just about ready to go take this over and test it. Um, in, the, in the previous clip, I sort of lied to you and said that I was going to solder everything later. I'm going to solder the lights later. Right now I soldered the motor pickups front and rear, I mean the uh, electrical pickups front and rear, the motor connections, and I went ahead and just soldered on this speaker just for the test and I'm just going to let it dangle out so I can at least make sure it's working. Now one thing you need to be aware of on the on the stock Atherin Genesis board there are two connectors here for the ditch lights so what you do is you take the negative lead or one of the leads from both of the lights and take it to one of these and the positive or the other lead from both of the lights and take it to this one. What that means is the ditch lights are either off or on. Those are the only two options. They don't alternate and, and flash back and forth. Now on this board, they have the uh, ability to do the 
flashing the alternating deal. So what you do is there's, there's four connectors here instead of two. The first two are for the positive and negative from one bulb. The second two are for the positive and negative from the other bulb. So you have to untwist the wires, figure out which one is the left and which one is the right. It doesn't matter which one you put them on, but put two of the wires from one of the bulbs here and two of the wires from one of the bulbs on the other one. And that will allow it to do that flip-flop flashing business. So there's a helicopter flying over, so I'm going to turn off the video and I'm going to go ahead and move over to the uh, to the module and set this on there and we'll just do a quick test to make sure that everything's hooked up right and working before I go ahead and solder all the lights and start figuring out how the speaker's going to fit in there. Alright, cool. The engine started right up and I didn't even have to program the engine number in. Um, I'm sure it's still at its default, so I'm going to go ahead and press in 0003 on my controller and just press the bell button. Cool. Horn. Okay. Let's see. Set it into forward. Just going to give it a little... Okay. It's working. <laughs> Don't want it to go too far with that speaker hanging out, that body up on top like that. Okay, let's check out the ditch lights. Function 5 on, off, 6 on, 6 off. Okay, I'm getting ready to fit the speaker inside. Got everything soldered on there the way I want. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of these little tabs on each end because I don't need, I'm not using those to mount and they're actually just going to get in the way. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is just push this guy down in there. Okay, we, I've got an issue already that I wasn't counting on, and that's this indentation here where the brake wheel is. That is interfering with the speaker installation. Okay, well I've done a little bit of playing around in here and figured out what I'm probably going to have to do in this case is go without the speaker enclosure. This was the black plastic cover that was over the back side of the speaker. And as you can see in here, that this uh, brake wheel box actually interferes with the, with the enclosure. And without the enclosure, the speaker assembly slides in just barely underneath it. So... All right, so we're back over on the uh, module, and we're going to go ahead and power this thing up. Punch in the number on my controller, 4278, which is the number I programmed it for. Turn on the headlights. That's some pretty good sound. Alright, well I guess that's the end of this video. Looks like everything's working perfectly. Um, if anybody has a need for a Digitrax DH123 plug and play DCC decoder for an Atherm Genesis engine, uh, just send me a PM and I'll give you a hell of a price on it because I don't need it now. I've got this new groovy Tsunami sound decoder in here.